This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the relationship between Ka, Kb, and Pka and Pkb. In a previous video, we looked at the Ka and the Kb. Ka is the acid dissociation constant and Kb is the base dissociation constant. For a conjugate acid-base pair, we have the following relationship. Ka multiplied by Kb is equal to the Kw. At a temperature of 298 Kelvin, the value of the Kw is 1.00 times 10 to the negative 14. Therefore, for a conjugate acid-base pair at 298 K, the Ka multiplied by the Kb is equal to 1.00 times 10 to the negative 14. So next, we look at an example. The Ka of ethanoic acid is 1.74 times 10 to the negative 5. Determine the Kb for its conjugate base, which is the ethanoate ion, at 298 K. So in the previous slide, we saw that the Ka multiplied by the Kb is equal to 1.00 times 10 to the negative 14. To find the Kb for the conjugate base, we divide the value of the Kw by the Ka of ethanoic acid, which gives us 5.75 times 10 to the negative 10. Let's look at one more example. The Kb of phenylamine is 7.41 times 10 to the negative 10. Determine the Ka for its conjugate acid at 298 Kelvin. So once again, we'll use this relationship between the Ka and the Kb at 298 K. To find the Ka for the conjugate acid, we divide the value of the Kw by the Kb of phenylamine, which gives us 1.35 times 10 to the negative 5. So next we look at the Pka and the Pkb. To find the Pka, we take the negative log of the Ka. And to find the Pkb, we take the negative log of the Kb. The Ka is equal to 10 raised to the power of the negative Pka. And the Kb is equal to 10 raised to the power of the negative Pkb. Earlier in the video, we looked at the relationship between the Ka and the Kb for a conjugate acid-base pair which has a value of 1.00 times 10 to the negative 14 at 298 K. If we take the log of both sides of the equation, we come up with a new expression, which is for a conjugate acid-base pair, the pKa plus the pKb is equal to the pKw, which at 298 Kelvin has a value of 14. In this table, we have examples of weak acids and weak bases together with their pKa and pKb values. So we'll start with the weak acids, which are methanoic acid and ethanoic acid. The pKa of methanoic acid is 3.75, and the pKa of ethanoic acid is 4.76. The lower the pKa value, the stronger the acid. So from this, we can determine that methanoic acid is a stronger acid than ethanoic acid. This is because it has a lower pKa value. Next we look at the bases. The two weak bases in the table are methanamine and ammonia. Methanamine has a pKb of 3.34 and ammonia has a pKb of 4.75. Just like the pKa, we can use the pKb to determine which base is the strongest. So the strongest base in the table is methanamine. This is because it has a lower pKb value than ammonia. So to summarize, the lower the pKa value, the stronger the acid. And the lower the pKb value, the stronger the base. We'll end the video by looking at one more example. The pKb of methanamine is 3.34. Determine the Ka for its conjugate acid at 298K. The first step is to find the Kb of methanamine. So the Kb is equal to 10 raised to the power of negative 3.34, which gives us 4.57 times 10 to the negative 4. To find the Ka for the conjugate acid, we divide the value of the Kw by the value of the Kb of methanamine, which gives us a value of 2.19 times 10 to the negative 11.